So in my last video, I explained uh, DL numbers ratio test and uh, also solved problems on that uh, DL numbers ratio test. What does test says? Test is like this: DL numbers ratio test. Suppose sigma u n is a uh, positive term series and limit u n plus one by u n in test to infinity is L. Then sigma u n converges converges if L is less than one. Diverges, diverges if L is greater than one, and fails. We say that test fails. Test fails means we cannot uh, draw any conclusion when L is equal to one. This is DL numbers ratio test. Now today's uh, topic is Rabi's test. When the DL numbers ratio test fails, we use Rabi's test. to prove that rabi's test i first explain one more comparison test it is comparison test 3 i take this as comparison test 3 so what is the first comparison test already we have studied two comparison test first comparison test was this if sigma an sigma bn are two positive term series and an less than or equal to bn for all n greater than or equal to m And sigma b n converges, then sigma a n also converges, and a n greater than or equal to b n, and sigma b n diverges, then sigma a n also diverges. This is comparison test one. This comparison tests are important. first one i have explained proof also and also <coughs> i have used this test what is the second comparison test second comparison test is this suppose sigma a and sigma b n are two positive term series and uh, limit a n by b n is l n test to infinity l is not equal to zero and not infinite it is neither zero nor infinite it is Not zero finite, then sigma a n, sigma b n are alive, are alive. This is second comparison test. And similarly, we have one more comparison test. One more comparison test. The test is like this. First, I prove this test. Prove this test because it is used in the proof of Rabi's. Test, Rabi's test. First, I prove this comparison test three. Suppose sigma a and sigma b n are two positive term series. Positive term series. Then first one, if a n plus one upon a n is less than. b n plus one by b n for all n greater than or equal to m, then sigma b n converges implies converges implies sigma a n also converges. Understand uh, clearly? This test is used to prove Rabi's test. This is comparison test three. See, we are dealing with positive term series now. Suppose sigma a and sigma b n are two positive term series. If first case a n plus one upon a n is less than b n plus one by b n for all n greater than or equal to m, then sigma b n converges implies sigma a n converges. B if a n plus one upon a n is greater than b n plus one by b n for all n greater than or equal to m, then sigma b n diverges. implies sigma a n diverges sigma a n diverges this is comparison test 3 now we prove this first proof of this see in the case of first comparison test as in the case of first comparison test without loss of generality we can assume this for for all n there we have proved that one what is that If for all n greater than or equal to m, 
and uh, sigma an an is less than or equal to bn uh, an is less than bn sigma bn converges then sigma an also converges but uh, in that first comparison test also this condition was there for all n greater than or equal to m but we have proved that if it is for all n greater than or equal to m then it is true an less than or equal to bn then sigma bn converges sigma an also converges so without loss of generality as proved in the first first uh, comparison test this holds for all n this holds for all n so case a is therefore we have suppose this is hold, this holds for all for all n as in the comparison test one then we have a2 by a1 is less than or equal to b2 by b1 suppose this is true for all n a2 by a1 less than or equal to b2 by b1 a3 by a2 is less than or equal to b3 by b2 so on an upon an minus 1 is less than or equal to or is it only strictly less than let us take less than is less than just a minute huh? yes it is less than bn upon bn minus 1 bn minus 1 now we multiply this multiplying say here generality is not lost that is uh, here it is given for all n greater than or equal to m but as in the case of uh, first comparison test we take this is for all n for all n using the same technique as the first comparison test a2 by a1 is less than for all n it is a3 by a2 is less than b3 by b2 and so on we multiply now all these inequalities then what do you get if we multiply a2 a2 cancels and b2 b2 cancels finally we have we have an upon a1 is less than bn upon b1 bn upon b1 this implies an is less than a1 upon b1 into bn this is for all n for all n now in the series in the series sigma bn converges converges then the series then the series this is constant a1 by bn sigma a1 by b1 bn what is this a1 by b1 bn it is a series obtained by multiplying each term of the series by a1 by b1 suppose sigma bn converges what is this series sigma a1 by b1 bn is it is a series obtained by multiplying each term of the series sigma bn by a1 by b1 this also converges converges then by comparison test 1 by comparison test 1 by comparison test 1 test 1 from this from this sigma an also converges this is the first case so what is the first case if an plus 1 upon an is less than bn plus 1 by bn and sigma bn is convergent then sigma an is also convergent second case suppose an plus 1 by an is greater than bn plus 1 by bn for all n for all n because without uh, generality is not lost here therefore we can assume for all n this implies for uh, as in the as in the case a case a we take a2 by a1 is greater than or say we take a2 by a1 is greater than b2 by b1 greater than this greater than this as in the case a means this and multiply and multiply this now greater than here so multiplying what you get an upon a1 is greater than greater than 
Bn upon B1. This is for all n. Therefore, An is greater than A1 by B1 Bn. For all n. For all n. Now, suppose sigma Bn diverges. If sigma Bn diverges, then sigma A1 by B1 Bn. What is this? This is constant A1 by B1. And what is sigma A1 by B1 into Bn? It is a series obtained by multiplying each term of this Bn, sigma Bn by A1 by B1. And this also, sigma A1 by B1 also diverges. If sigma Bn diverges, this also diverges. From comparison test 1, comparison test 1, what does comparison test 1 says? If A and B n are positive term series, A n is greater than B n for all n. Then if sigma B n diverges, this right hand side series diverges, left hand side also diverges. Test 1, sigma A n also diverges. This is comparison test 3. Go through the proof again. We have used uh, the comparison test 1 here. And uh, this is used to prove Rabi's test. See the test is like this. What is Rabi's test? It is also ratio test. It is Rabi's test. See the statement is like this. You can note down this statement. The series sigma union of positive terms of positive terms B of positive terms and and limit n into un upon un plus 1 minus 1 n tends to infinity is equal to n. Understand the statement? Sigma un is a series of positive terms and uh, suppose limit n into un upon un plus 1 minus 1 n into e is l then then sigma un converges converges if l greater than 1 this is important in case of dl numbers ratio test what happens dl numbers ratio test is limit un plus 1 upon un we have taken un plus 1 upon un if it is l then series converges if l less than 1 but here it is un upon un plus 1 minus 1 into n is l then l greater than 1 converges comparative you have to remember because the test important here this is a different test and it is uh, useful when uh, dl numbers ratio test is not applicable suppose DM, dl numbers ratio test fails then you can use rabi's test and sigma un diverges if L is less than 1 diverges if L less than 1 and test fails test fails when L is equal to 1 this is D, uh, this is a Rabi's test what does test says we are dealing with only positive term series here sigma un is a series of positive terms suppose limit n into this is important un upon un plus 1 minus 1 as n tends to infinity is l then if l greater than 1 converges if l less than 1 sigma un diverges and test fails when l is equal to 1 now to prove this we make use of the comparison test 3 so i explain how the comparison test 3 is used here first case case 1 let what is the case 1 limit n into un upon un plus 1 minus 1 as n tends to infinity is l and l is greater than 1 and l is greater than 1 now choose choose a number p real number p such so that P is greater than 1 
and less than L. This this is important. We choose P A another number. It is greater than one, greater than one, less than L. See why greater than one we have taken. That is I explain. It is greater than one, less than L. Then we compare compare the series series sigma u n with the auxiliary series auxiliary series what is the auxiliary series sigma 1 upon n raised to p sigma 1 upon n raised to p we take this as sigma v n sigma v n when it converges which is convergent convergent when p is greater than 1 p is greater than 1 See, first case is suppose limit u n by u n plus one n minus one is l l greater than one. We choose p such that it is greater than one but less than l. Now we compare this sigma u n given series with the auxiliary series sigma v n is sigma one upon n raised to p, which is convergent when p greater than one. P greater than one. Now see we compare this sigma u n is sigma v n. By comparison test. Now we apply this uh, test three by comparison test. Sigma u n is convergent. Is convergent if if u n upon u n plus one is greater than v n upon v n plus one after after. Some particular terms. Some particular terms. That means for all n greater than or equal to m, u n upon u n plus one is greater than v n upon v n plus one. Because, see here, what is v n? We have already chosen v n as sigma one upon n raised to p, and p is greater than one here. Therefore, sigma u n converges if u n upon u n plus one is greater than v n upon v n plus one. Therefore. U n upon U n plus one is greater than what is V n? So you take V n like this. One upon n raised to p upon one upon n plus one raised to p. That is equal to n plus one by n raised to p. Say sigma U n converges if this is so. That implies U n upon U n plus one is greater than n plus one upon n. Raised to p, I write this as one plus one upon n raised to p. When sigma u n converges, if u n upon u n plus one is greater than one plus one upon n raised to p. Now expand this one plus one upon n raised to p using binomial theorem. What do you get? One plus p into one upon n binomial theorem. P into P minus one upon two factorial one upon n square plus so on plus so on P plus one terms are there P plus one terms therefore U n upon U n plus one is greater than or U n plus U n upon U n plus one minus one is greater than P into one of P by n P into P minus one by two factorial one upon n square plus so on. So when sigma u n converges, sigma u n converges if u n upon u n plus one minus one is greater than this. Therefore n into u n upon u n plus one minus one is greater than p plus p into p minus one by two factorial into one by n plus so on. Say we have used here practical compare well, that is comparison test three. When sigma u n converges, we have compared sigma u n with another auxiliary series sigma v n. What is that? Sigma v n is sigma one upon n raised to p. It converges if p greater than one. We have chosen p such that p is greater than one less than l. So that sigma v n converges. Therefore u n upon u n plus one converges. If it is greater than v n upon v n plus one, what is v n upon v n plus one? This simplifying we get this. Now we take limit. Uh, if we take limit 
as n tends to infinity n tends to infinity take limit as n tends to infinity n into u n upon u n plus 1 minus 1 is greater than p because as n tends to infinity this becomes 0 because it is 1 upon n next term will be 1 upon n square and so on so the sigma u n converges if limit n tends to infinity n into u n upon u n plus 1 minus 1 is greater than p but what we have taken p is greater than 1 therefore sigma u n converges if limit n u n upon u n plus 1 minus 1 is greater than 1 greater than 1 now second case what is the second case second case is suppose let limit n into u n upon u n plus 1 minus 1 is less than 1 uh, it is l where l is less than 1 limit is l where l is less than 1 now choose number number p such that p is p is greater than l but less than 1 what is l here? l less than 1 but we choose p greater than l but still less than 1 here less than 1 now we compare compare the series sigma u n with the auxiliary series auxiliary series sigma v n is sigma 1 upon n raised to p what is p here? less than 1 therefore what does sigma 1 upon n raised to p? it diverges because p is less than 1 auxiliary series diverges this series therefore by comparison test comparison test 3 test sigma sigma u n sigma u n is divergent is divergent if for some particular values of n that is for all n greater than or equal to n u n upon u n plus 1 u n plus 1 less than v n upon v n plus 1 just to have proved this uh, comparison test see the second case is like this suppose limit n is u n upon u n plus 1 minus 1 is less than n we choose p so that p is less than 1 but greater than n greater than n less than 1 it is compare the series sigma u n with the auxiliary series as in the first case sigma 1 upon n raised to p but sigma 1 upon n raised to p is divergent correct divergent therefore by comparison test why is divergent p is less than 1 therefore by comparison test if u n upon u n plus 1 is less than v n upon v n plus 1 sigma u n is divergent that is it is uh, what is v n upon v n plus 1 v n upon v n plus 1 is what is v n 1 upon n raised to p upon 1 upon n plus 1 raised to p that is n plus 1 by n raised to p that is 1 plus 1 upon n raised to p now therefore sigma u n diverges sigma u n diverges if u n upon u n plus 1 is less than expand this by binomial theorem 1 plus p into 1 by n p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial 1 upon n square plus so on expanding right hand side by binomial theorem therefore this implies u n upon u n plus 1 minus 1 is less than less than p into 1 upon n p into b minus 1 by 2 factorial 2 factorial 1 upon n square plus so on therefore sigma u n sigma u n diverges if u n upon u n plus 1 minus 1 into n multiply both sides by n is less than p plus p to p minus 1 by 2 factorial 1 upon n plus so on so 
sigma un diverges if this n into un upon un plus 1 minus 1 is less than p p into b minus 1 by 2 factorial into 1 upon n plus so on now we consider the limiting case when n tends to infinity left hand side is left hand side is limit n into un upon un plus 1 minus 1 as n tends to infinity is equal to l we have taken that as l therefore sigma un and right hand side is p right hand side is p because all these terms tends to 0 as n tends to infinity because it is 1 upon n next terms in, in, in terms of 1 upon n square it involves 1 upon n square therefore right hand side is P, only P. Therefore, sigma un diverges if n is less than 1. Because P is less than 1. So, sigma that is uh, sigma un give this series diverges if n is less than 1. So, what does uh, Rabi's test says? It is like this. Suppose sigma un is a series of positive terms and limit un by un plus 1 minus 1 into n into n as n tends to infinity is l then l greater than 1 sigma un converges l less than 1 sigma un diverges test fails when l is equal to 1 L is equal to 1 test phase. Now this Rabi's test is useful when DL numbers ratio test fails. In that case we use the Rabi's test. You go through the video once again and if you have any difficulties you always feel free to ask. You are always welcome. If you have any difficulties you can ask. Now I solve problems on this in the next period. The proof is important. Uh, <coughs> this question may be, uh, not may be, in every examination, university examination, Karnataka University examination, it is syllabus for the Karnataka University uh, BSc 4th sem. In every examination, this question is asked for 4th sem paper 1, this syllabus, and it is asked. So far I have therefore completed three practical comparison tests on series, three practical comparison tests, one, two, three, and uh, Kochi's root test, DL numbers ratio test, then Rabi's test. Uh, problems on Rabi's test is in next video. Yes, thank you.